Hey everybody, welcome to Cousin Jack Cars. Today, I'm going to be doing a product review on this Beavercraft Tools Santa Carving Kit. Uh, so the folks at Beavercraft reached out to me. They said, hey, we want to send you this kit. And if you would, give it a try and then share your thoughts. And so I said, yep. And uh, I'm here to share my thoughts and give you some information about what's in the box, what's not in the box, and what I recommend. Okay, so what's in the box? Well, there's band-aids in the box. <laughs> Hopefully you never have to use those, right? In addition, there's a strop. This leather strop comes with the kit. And of course, there's some compound. This happens to be a blue colored compound, which works just fine. And with this kit, what I would recommend, here's my first recommendation for you. Go ahead and put the compound on the fuzzy side of the leather. You can see I've done that here. Then you're honing your knife on the compound, then wipe off the blade, and then you've got this nice polished leather side here to just finish stropping on. Okay, so that way you get to use both sides instead of just one side. Another thing that's in the box, this knife. So it's a, a roughing knife with a blade that looks to be, oh, probably about two, two inches long. You can measure that just to check it. Yep two inches on the cutting edge there. And this roughing knife is, of course, large enough to remove larger pieces of material, but it's also pointy enough to do some detail work. Now, here's my second recommendation. Some of that safety tape that comes with it in the box, which I haven't talked about yet, it's right here. I put it on the handle of this roughing knife because the handle was a little bit slick and uh, the safety tape gives me better grip. So that's something I would recommend. All right, what else is in the box? Well, safety tape, you need that. Wrapping up your fingers. And of course, a pattern. So the pattern you get includes three different views. You have your front view, side view, and then a rear view, which is helpful, of course. And there's also a pamphlet. This little booklet comes with the kit. And you can see it's the how-to guide. Inside, you'll see they show you step-by-step step, kind of how to go about carving this little character. Now, in addition to that, you may have noticed there's a QR code right here. And if you scan that QR code with your phone, you'll go to a video tutorial that also shows you how to carve this little Santa. So you have both. You have these written instructions, you have the pattern and you have the option to use the QR code and go out to the website where you can watch the video tutorial over and over again. Uh, also in there, a pencil. Of course, you need that pencil when you're drawing your pattern. Uh, this one was a little dull when I got it, but there was a pencil sharpener in the box. That's it right there. So I sharpened it. There's also a paintbrush. Uh, this is not a bad brush. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. And then there are three different colors of acrylic paints. So you have the red, of course, for Santa's hat and outfit, the white for the trim and the beard and the mustache. And then there's a, a sort of a, a brownish color and that's used for the shoes. I also used it on the mittens and uh, another touch that I added and I'll get into that in a little bit. So yes, you have acrylic paints and there's plenty of paint there because you wanna water those down when you're going to paint your, uh, your carving at the end. So here's the Santa that I carved. And I should mention, here's a piece of the basswood. So you get two blocks with the kit. And these are approximately two by two by four inches. So, what I did, that's a little different than the pattern. Let's just point them out. So you can see here, I added a mouth, which uh, this Santa did not have. And I kind of changed the placement of these arms. I brought the arms forward with the mittens. I wanted him to be kind of holding onto his belly and I gave him that mouth. So he's saying, ho, ho, ho. You can see in the pattern, the arms are really kind of down by his sides, okay? But hey, switch it up, you know, make it your own. I also 
added a belt, which was not in the pattern. I thought, yeah, he should have a belt. And I gave him some hair. You'll find that in the, the pattern, this Santa doesn't have any hair sticking out from underneath the hat. I just thought, why not? So everything you see here, all of the carving I did was with that one knife, all of the paint, everything was from the paints that came with the kit and the brush that came with the kit. I didn't use anything else except the finish. Let's talk about that. I want to tell you what's not in the box. So what's not in the box that I do recommend strongly is a carving glove. Okay, and just as an example, um, here's one from Dex Fit. And you need to have a carving glove if you're a beginner. You should wear it on your non-dominant hand. So if you're a right-handed carver, you would have a glove on your left hand. For me, I'm left-handed, I put the glove on my right hand. And uh, I have the scars to show you of when I didn't have a glove. But you can pick up a glove for about, I don't know, maybe a, you can get a pair probably for $10, $12. These are level five cut resistant gloves. That's what you want to look for. Uh, for these Dex Fits, I'll put a link down below the video um, if you're interested in these. But like I said, if you just do a study or uh, just a, a Google search, on level five cut resistant gloves, you'll find lots of brands. They all cost about the same, not too expensive. And what else is not in the box to finish. So with acrylic paints, after you apply them, they're gonna be a little, how should I say, uh, chalky to the touch. That's the nature of these acrylic water-based paints. So it will feel kind of chalky when you hold on to your carving and the paints themselves, the depth of the color won't be as strong as what you might expect. So it's good to have a finish that goes on top of the level or the layer of the paint. What I recommend for someone who's starting out is Howard Feed and Wax. That's what I used on this Santa right here. Howard Feed and Wax is easy to use. It comes in a, a bottle. You just rub it on and then wipe off the excess and you're pretty much done. It's got a combination of orange oil, carnauba oil, and beeswax in it. And the orange oil smells pretty good. So with the Howard Feed and Wax, you don't really need any other products like mineral spirits or any special brushes. You can, like I said, you can wipe it on, wipe it off. So that's something I would also recommend. It's not in the box. Well, there you go, folks. I've got um, everything covered as far as what's in there and what's not in there. What do you think? Is this something you might want to try? Learn how to whittle? Would this be a good way to start? Here's my recommendation there. Yeah, it would. I can tell you that this knife is so much better than what I started with. And uh, having a glove when you're starting out would be helpful too. Like I said, that's not in the box, but I hope that you'll enjoy practicing some whittling. If you get into it, be safe, be careful and have fun. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.